beauty is, I think it comes from within. Those imperfections or those things that aren't seen as stereotypically beautiful. And I love turning those things on its head and then capturing that and then showing this is something that's beautiful in its own way. I never really saw people look like me or any of my friends. And I always kind of question, well, why is that where have these ideas come from? And if there isn't just one stereotypical type of beauty, if you're a young girl, you could feel like you don't fit in because of these certain stereotypes of these women that you're seeing on billboards. And I've never sort of wanted to compromise on who I am as an artist because it's going to get me the commercial jobs. Through my editorial work and my personal projects, it's about being able to see yourself in these images. I really wanted to be able to work with a commercial luxury brand and turn it on its head. So do something different with Stella McCartney that hadn't been done before. Shoot it in Lagos, which is part of where I'm from, from Nigeria. Being able to go there and, you know, my experiences and how I've grown up. Being able to be black and show what being black is rather than a spectator just seeing it for that. I'll always get asked a lot about being black and what does black mean to me and it's like yes that's an important part of who I am but that's not just who I am and just what I'm about and I think it's important to have more representation within fashion. It's something that we shouldn't even have to think about, we shouldn't even have to question. I would say that I'm part of this kind of wave and the industry is changing and I think a fashion image doesn't have to be just a static sort of image of the person kind of wearing the clothes, it can be a story. My creative vision is to take different types of people and different types of beauty and be able to photograph them in a beautiful and dynamic way. It's me looking at it as a whole and not looking at it as, oh, mixed race, gender fluid, Asian, whatever. I don't look at it like that. What we do as hair stylists, makeup photographers in the fashion industry, we think we're in this small little bubble and we don't realise the extent of where our work reaches, how it affects people. And when we were in Jamaica, there was this one woman who we were photographing her. She says, oh, these photos aren't going to end up like with some caption or something uh, referring to us as like gorillas or like aggressive. That was a point where I was like, okay, this is so important that we're doing this project and then it needs to be seen. Growing up as a black girl and a lot of black girls, there was this thing about your hair and how it's kind of different. Hopefully this project has encouraged young females to love their hair and love who they are. And I'm still kind of like, I can't believe that's happened because I didn't think I would be shooting any sort of Vogue cover until 20 years. I worked my way up in the industry, like maybe be given an opportunity. So much has happened in the last year that I thought would never happen. You're like, am I really here? This is really happening and it's crazy. I'm so, so grateful that I've been able to do that and I'm so, so grateful for the support. I feel really blessed to be in the position that I am in, to be able to take photographs the way I do, interpret things the way I do, and people responding to that.